Hey, hello you guys. Today is November the 5th. Good morning. Hope everything's going awesome where you guys are. I hope you guys are adventuring too. Uh, today, I woke up a little late. It is 12 actually right now. Uh, I was trying to wake up at 6, but I cannot. I was way too tired from last night. Um, I took a shower, did everything. Forgot my hair gel on the other hotel. So unfortunately, I will not be doing my hair for a while unless I buy some gel. Uh, um, Today we're gonna to try an adventure out in the city, more on the left side of Rome. Not really a lot of uh, big historical things. So we're gonna try and head out right now, uh, hit the metro. Um, unfortunately, we're not gonna be uh, joined by our awesome British friends because uh, we're gonna try and venture out and do our own thing for a little while. We might see them today, so you never know. Dun -dun -dun, stay tuned. Dun -dun -dun, stay Right there is an aerospace. It says Ministro Defensa Aeronautical. San Giovanni. This thing is huge. Okay, on this huge monument there is, uh, I think it was six saints uh, statues on the top of this building, uh, and there's Jesus. So they made the saints to look over uh, the city, and they used Jesus up top to look over as well. Interesting fact about this place is that they have statues on each side, and uh, it says that each statue is the saints. But not just the saints, it's the 12 apostles. So there's actually 12 statues for uh, this whole place right here. It's a pretty neat fact. Okay, so I finally found the entrance to Terme de Cala, Terme, Terme de Cala, or something. Okay, this place was originally a bath place, so people would come in and take baths here. It's huge. Uh, it was made for at least 6,000 people to come in and out freely as they want. It is extremely awesome. Uh, I would feel pretty awkward to go inside and take a bath with 6,000 people looking at my junk. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Also, a uh, fun quick fact about this place, this bath place. Uh, it was uh, excavated, or they started doing excavations here and uh, digging up this huge place because most of it was underground. And they started looking for antiques or as they call antiques, pretty much sculptures that were left behind over well, here and they took them out and they put them in museums. So a lot of sculptures that were here were sent to museums. Can you 
you guys imagine coming in here and being like, hey, yo, Tom, I'm just going to go out to the showers again and get in front of everybody. Like, <laughs> that's freaking crazy. Well, it looks like no one's been here for a while because it's not even maintained. And look at these. I really want to jump over. Okay, guys, I'm just about to enter the Puerto Romano. But before that, you cannot travel without in an empty stomach, of course. So I got a little panini that's toasted and a Sprite. All energized. It literally just closed right now. Like I was out here and it just closed. God. This is the Arco di Constantino. Okay, so this right here, it's called something of San Clemente, some church of San Clemente. Uh, can't, they don't let me use cameras in here, so I have to kind of walk outside. But uh, this church was built back in the days of the Roman Empire, right next to the Colosseum. Um, it was when Christianity was first uh, brought, or you know, it was first rising here in the Roman Empire. Uh, so the Romans didn't really like Christianity that much. So they built this church and it was kind of an underground, you know, thing for the uh, Catholic church. So it has secret tunnels and everything. Okay, I want to start with, wow. Yeah, that's what I want to start with. Uh, it says no cameras or pictures. I really tried to take a couple of footage inside there, but uh, each corner there was somebody. And then there were sensors and cameras all over the place. So I was just like, eh, you know what? Let me just enjoy this. But in general, it was so good. It's a pretty big church, um, and they have underground passages, and they have like this huge altar and you know prayer place down under. Uh, and that's just not one, uh, not one story under, it's two. So you have the one under and then you have a second one under. And there's a lot of different rooms, a lot of different things. Honestly, I was so well put. This is the Basilica di San Pietro in Nicoli.
Okay, so that was the Basilica of San Pietro. Uh, that statue you just saw right now, that bearded guy and the whole movement and stuff, that was made by Michelangelo. That's why there was a lot of people uh, trying to take pictures of it because it's pretty badass. Bryant, this is for you because it said you like the accordion so much. Honestly, I think this is the backside of it. But other than that, it still looks freaking beautiful. And it's huge. Can I please live there? Someone buy it for me. Bird, buy it for me. Please do. Okay, so right now, uh, I did have some bad news. Unfortunately, I'm not going to tell you guys because then it's going to bump down the trip, which is not going to be bombed out because it's super awesome. Uh, I have to go grocery shopping. So I'm going to go grocery shopping. Uh, first of all, I'm going to find a grocery store, then I'm going to go grocery shopping. So, let's head to the grocery store. Grocery store! Sometimes, I do a lot of exercise because exercise is really good for you guys. Whew. God, I'm tired. Uh, the trick is you gotta find the cheapest thing. This is 90. Yeah, okay. I got my groceries, now it's time to eat and have fun. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I made it to my room. Oh yeah. Chillin' chillin'. And then I get FaceTime from back at home. What is up? What's up? Good night. Oh, that was so beautiful. Guys, I just uh, finished uh, FaceTiming Sharon over there telling me what's a quick update on Kelly. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it a night. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go to see if I could rent a little something to get us some parts of our road faster. So, see how it goes. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs>